After Will Smith inadvertently channeled the likeness of his late Uncle Phil, the internet has been murmuring with renewed interest for the legendary 90s sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Taking to Instagram earlier this week, Alfonso Ribeiro, aka Carlton Banks, gave the fans something to cherish with heart likes by reuniting Tatiana Ali, who portrayed Ashley, Karen Parsons, who played Hillary, Daphne Maxwell-Reed, the second antiv between seasons 1993 and 1996, and Joseph Marcel, who played the always witty Jeffrey the Butler, and of course, Big Willie himself. Always amazing to spend an afternoon with my Fresh Prince family. Wishing that James Avery was still with us to make this complete, Rubiro captioned the pic. Avery passed away at the age of 61 on December 31st, 2013, following complications after open heart surgery. Another omission from the photo was the original Aunt Viv, Janet Hubert, who has had an ongoing beef with Smith and the Fresh Prince cast since her removal from the NBC hit television series decades ago. She was reportedly feuding with Smith throughout the duration of her tenure on the NBC hit show and was either fired or chose to walk at the close of season three. And Hubert and Smith have yet to make amends. More recently, following last year's Oscar So White controversy, Hubert made an interesting comic book filtered Facebook video continuing her tirade against Smith after his wife Jada Pinkett Smith made a video bashing the Academy Awards. And you know what, Will? You're the star of the show. Why don't we all get together? And with you, maybe we could get a little raise. Maybe Maybe the network, since you know the show is such a hit, and you being the star of the show, your influence will help us greatly, like they did on Friends, like white shows do. Remember that? Do you remember that? Because I do. Hmm. And your response to me was, my deal is my deal, and y'all deal is y'all deal. Well, karma must be a bitch, because now here you are. Here you are, you've had a few flops. And you know... There are those out there who really deserved a nod, and Idris Elba was one of them. Lord have mercy. Beast of No Nation was incredible. That man is an incredible actor. You are not, maybe you didn't deserve uh, a nomination. I, I didn't think, frankly, you deserved a Golden Globe nomination with that accent, but you got one. And just because the world don't go the way you want it to go, doesn't mean that you can go out and then you start asking people to stand up and sing, we shall overcome for you. Mm. You ain't Barack and Michelle Obama. During an appearance on The Real, Hubert had this to say about her issues with Will. We don't have any Latinos, we don't have any Asians, we don't have any... We've got injustices all over the place. If you're gonna do that, be specific and make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons and not because you didn't get a nomination. Once the reunion photo hit the web, Hubert went on the offensive and had some rather ungodly things to say about her former castmates on Facebook, most notably Smith, although most of the slander fell upon Ribeiro, who she started by calling a media hoe. Folks keep telling me about it, and he was always the ass wipe for Will. There will never be a true reunion of the Fresh Prince. I have no interest in seeing any of these people on that kind of level. I am not offended in the least by this photo. It was an event for Karen's charity. It does, however, prompt me to take some meetings in Hollywood to pitch my memoir, Perfection is Not a Sitcom Mom, and tell the behind the scenes story before I leave this earth. Later on in the post comment section, Hubert called Ribeiro Smith's tampon. Damn! So far, Smith or anyone from the rest of the Fresh Prince crew has yet to respond. However, in this interview with ADOT on BBC Radio 1 Extra, the bad boy star took the high road when asked about Hubert. You know, both of the Aunt Vivs <laughs> were really, really uh, fantastic. I think when you make a show, anytime you make a change, it's going to be excruciating and painful. I think that Janet Hubert Witten brought a really powerful dignity. Think the two will ever reconcile? Let us know what you think in the comment section and check out the site for updates on 50 Cent leaving Chris Brown's party tour and Extentacion being freed from jail. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and as always, for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.